In a previous video, I cut open an Apple AirPod charging case so you could take a very close look at everything inside. That video has done extremely well and it now has almost 3 million views. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything that's inside an Apple Watch. And unlike my other video, I will not be needing this cutoff tool to show you everything inside. Even though this watch is an older series, many of the things you'll see will be very similar to newer series Apple Watches. This particular watch was given to me by a friend of mine. There was a failure with the battery, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And that failure caused this display screen or display panel to pop off the watch body. And when that happened, it opened it just enough on that adhesive sensor gasket, which I'm going to show you in a minute, allowing water to enter the watch when he went into his swimming pool. Unfortunately, the swimming pool does have salt water and this watch no longer works. So I have no problem tearing it apart to show you everything inside. Right over here, you have your power button. You have the wheel. The wheel lets you scroll through different selections when the watch is operating. And then you can also push the button on the wheel to make a selection. On the back side, you can see the area where the inductive charger would connect using a magnetic clamp. Over here on this other side, you can see there's the speaker and microphone. And these buttons right here, one on each side, you push those and it releases the watch band. This watch does not have a printed circuit board inside. It has what's called an SIP, known as a system in package, or sometimes referred to as system in the box. Inside that box is the processor, the RAM chip, flash memory, and other sensors. You're going to see that momentarily when I open up the watch. If you look at the bottom where the connector also attaches, you can see there's diodes or photodiodes, and that goes right up against your wrist and that allows for pulse measurement. Each one of these Apple watches needs to have this front panel removed the exact same way. And the way you do that is right between the watch body and the display panel is a very tiny space. Using a very thin tool like you see right here, or one like this, you're going to insert it between the panel and the body of the watch, and you're going to push in and wiggle until it finds its way into the space. When that happens, you could take another tool to assist in prying that panel off. Now, if you have a little bit of trouble getting into that space, what you can do is take a suction cup like you see right here, usually a smaller one. This one does work though. Push down and then you could use that ring to pull up on the display panel. And when you do that, the space between the front display and the watch body will open up, allowing you to get in there easier. There's also another way that you can remove the panel. You can take 3M double stick tape like you see right here. This is very strong tape. I picked this up at a local hardware store. This is the type that to remove it, you would pull and stretch it to release the adhesive. So what you would do is take some rubbing alcohol and just very gently clean the surface of that display. Take the double stick tape and peel off one side and then you're going to push it down and make sure it's well secured to that front panel. And once that's done, you could take off the tape on the opposite side, take something with a flat bottom like you see right here, push down hard, and when you do that, you'll be able to pull up. And while you're pulling up, you can use a thin plastic tool to reach in between there and gently pry. Now there's a gasket that goes all the way around. It's known as a sensor gasket. That sensor gasket has an adhesive on it, and that's what allows the front panel or front display to be bonded to the case or watch body. All the Apple Watches will have one of these, and you can see what they look like for each series right over here. So this display panel is already removed because the battery behind it swelled up, causing the panel to pop off. So let's gently lift this up. Right here. Okay. You can see this battery is blown up. Not good. And that happens quite frequently with older batteries or any time you have a lithium polymer battery that's subjected to over discharge or overcharging. The way this battery is removed is very simple. You're going to get under it with a plastic tool. 
there's an adhesive on the back side, and there's a connection for the battery that's made right over here on this end. Each one of the series will have a different battery. You can see what the connector looks like for this one, which is a Series 1, right over here. Over here you can see it says Taptic Engine. This is what gives you the vibrations in the watch or different sensations. It comes off of this little metal box right here. And if you take a look right here, we have this cable. Each one of the series are going to have different cables connecting to the board. Some of these boards are going to have more than one flat cable going to them, especially the newer series. And in order to remove them from this panel, what you need to do is lift up on the little plastic lever that's going to be where the flat cable connects to the board. Right here is the gasket. Move that entire gasket all the way around. And you can see right over here there's a connection that's broken off because when you take a look right over here what number one looks like for the gasket it's going to have a piece connected between and that piece is right down in here by the battery. Let me take this panel off in order to do that what you need to do is undo this connection right here. Take the screwdriver, place it right in between, and just rotate. And it pops off very cleanly, just like that. All right, we put this off to the side. Let me take these watch bands off next. I'm going to push this right here with my fingernail and slide it off. Do the same on this side. This way it's not in my way when I'm working. Push it in. Okay. Now you can see it coming off nicely. This is what holds the display onto the watch body. Right here you can see that battery now. So you want to very carefully just pry it up. You want to work it out of there. And then once it's out of there enough, you'll be able to disconnect the connector on this side and pull the battery out. Just very carefully, just keep working it. I can hear the tape coming off. Reach in. And then you can start going up. All right, we're out. That's good. And now we just get this plastic tool between if you can and just give it a little bit of a twist like that. So this battery is out of here. Alright, the battery out. Nice clean area, S1. And if you wanted to put a new battery, it's very simple. Just position it exactly where it's supposed to go. Plug it back in. And right over here, you see this? This is the sensor gasket. So what you want to do is when you purchase a new gasket, you unscrew this right here and in order to do that you need a special tool right here it's called a tri-point screwdriver it's a Y000 or a Y000 see it right there and you want to take that and go right into that spot okay unscrew it then I can reach in and grab that right here and this plugs right in. You see that? So that plugs right in over there and this would all be part of the sensor cable gasket. Okay so right over here is that taptic engine. This is what gives you all the sensations in your wrist, the vibration. Over here is that wheel and of course you can push it This is the button. Let's unscrew that now. Take the tri-point screwdriver and reach in. If you don't have any of these tools, I'll place a link in the video description area. Okay. Now I'm going to reach right here. 
and you can see there is your switch. Push on that. All that does it has a little tab. You can see it right in there. Pushes on this little board, and the switch is right. right there. Okay, let's keep going. Let me get under it maybe in this area. Pull, see if it comes out. Oh, it's glued. Yep, I just heard it separate, so that side's off. Now let's go over here. This side's probably glued in too. Hmm. Yep, there we go. So that all pulled out. You definitely would never be changing any of these other parts. The only serviceable things that I see inside here, I mean, for the average person would be just the battery, the gasket, and the front panel. A taptic engine, mm, not exactly easy to replace. Let me grab under here. Let's see if I can get it out. All right, it's all coming out now. Right inside here is the magnet that holds the inductive charger in the center. I can feel it pulling in my probe. And in order to charge these flat cables, inside here are coils of wire. So you have currents being induced in the magnetic charger that you connect to the backside. And those pulses are picked up in the windings right over here. So let's see if I could take anything else apart here. Let's see, the bottom, this is more than likely glued in. Oh yeah, this is like totally not serviceable. Let's just pull it apart now. All right, so there's your, right here, see these? I'm gonna keep these, these are good to have. These are photodiodes, right there. You can see right through. Here you can see the two wires for charging. It's an enamel wire. There's one right here going to that coil. And there's another one I'm going to try and grab right there. There's your two wires. That's what all your charging is going to be done through these two wires. And this flat cable is what goes to those photodiodes. Must well do it all. Okay, so now everything here can be removed. And you can't see them, but the wires are going right around this circle right here. And the bottom, let's pull this apart. 
not much pressure holding these together. Let's pull all this off so you can look. Okay. What's on in here? And that is it. There's not much else I'm going to be taking apart here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.